Simon Coveney is today fighting to save his job. I actually think it is that serious. The laws of politics mean that the, this controversy cannot continue. It has continued too long. It is harming the government. And the storm is not abating. It is only gaining momentum. And that is untenable for the government. So however small, however Mickey Mouse this issue seems to be, and large elements of it are quite trivial, I don't think his position is tenable if he keeps going. You, you, you say that he's fighting for his job and you may well be right. What does he need to do to save that job? Well, there's a few issues he needs to address um, and there are seeming contradictions in things he has said up to now. Like he has said all along, this is not a made up job for Catherine Zappone. It was nothing of the sort, I think is the term he actually used. Well, it certainly looks like a made up job for Catherine Zappone. Anyone reading uh, the text and the correspondence that began we now realise that it began last uh, last March. Uh, his insistence as well that Catherine Zappone did not lobby him for the job. Again, based on what we've seen in the correspondence, I mean, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck and waddles like a duck, it's a duck. And if it looks to me... If it talks like a lobbying person... <laughs> it looks like Catherine Zappone did lobby for the job. Uh, did um, Simon Coveney mislead the Oireachtas Committee last time around? He will obviously insist that he didn't, but he needs to, he needs to clarify some issues. And then, of course, there's the issue of the deletion of the of texts. When did those texts, when were they deleted? Was it after FOI requests um, went in? All those issues he needs to deal with and deal with pretty well. And the final point I'd make in this, Kira, I mean, throw in the Leo Vradker stuff at the weekend now. I, I happen to think that was a storm and teacup. But could you imagine if it was two, rather than Leo Vradker and Simon Coveney, it was two Fianna Fáil ministers uh, in the middle of all these uh, storms. Imagine what Fine Gael would be saying publicly and privately. They'd be saying, this crowd, they're, they're idiots, they're fools, they don't know how to govern, uh, they're out of it too long, they're out of touch. It's Fine Gael ministers we're talking about in this situation. So it's a huge day for Simon Coveney. And unless he, unless he deals with those issues, I think he's political toast. It's very interesting. Um, I think it is a shame if Simon Coveney is to go to some extent, because I think he is a politician of some calibre. And I think he um, did us well during all the Brexit negotiations. I think he was somebody that we were glad to have in our corner. And I think it would be a shame if a politician of his calibre went over this, because as you say, it is seemingly a small thing. But I think when you look at the text timeline and those documents that we saw released yesterday, it is an unedifying mess, the whole thing. And there are significant contradictions. I could completely agree with you about who said what to who, when and indeed when Catherine Zappone, yeah. I think the crux of it was, was offered that job. We're hearing, no, no, only offered it come, you know, July, only offered it when, when, when Cabinet found out and all of that kind of stuff. But yet she's thanking him and accepting what looks like the job much, much earlier than that, months earlier. But let us know, what do you think? Is Shane right? Is Simon Coveney's job on the line today if he doesn't adequately address the key questions?